inflation forecasts, okay? Because we're gonna look at inflation forecasts because this really determines what the interest rates are going to be. Obviously, that 2% target, if we go above that 2% target, then you know that's when we run into problems. Well, not run into problems, but that's when we need to raise interest rates. So if you have a look here at the UK, I'm not really worried about anyone else, there's lots of figures there, but the UK here, okay, you can see 0 0.8, 1 0.2, 1 0.7, 2. So if you, 20, 23 to 27, so this is going out to 27, the average is 2%, which means barely any inflation, which means barely any interest rate rises. Now, we'll have a look at another one where we do actually see the interest rate rises and what's likely to happen. But I think that's important. So the fact that all this money is being dumped into the economy doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna see huge interest rate rises. So people are saying, you know, massive inflation and watch the sting in the tail and all that. Right now, there's very few people predicting that, yeah? Because the drop was so low, and actually, my bigger picture theory, and I mentioned this last week, is that, in actual fact, I think the US has been just printing money, printing money, printing money, and everyone's been sitting there going, that's because they're the reserve economy, yeah? Or the reserve currency. But, now what's happening is everyone's got addicted to the drug. So now everybody that can print money is printing money, and this is one of the problems with the Eurozone. Whenever you look at the Eurozone data, it's terrible, because they can't control, the, it's, it's almost like an external body controls that for everybody, yeah? Um, but anyway, we won't get into Euro, because that's a basket case, and let's face it, we're no longer part of the Euro.